what is up guys as you can tell my name is bianca lopez if you don't know well now you know so i met my husband um about seven eight years ago um we were in middle school and um he was like a new kid in the class so i was like okay well i go and i look and i'm like hey <laughs> you dare me to um say hi to the new boy they're like yeah yeah i dare you hyping me up so i was like okay so i came over and i'm like so hi and he's like in the straightest face hi and i'm like what's your name he's like christopher and i'm like oh okay hi christopher so um where you from he's like around here and I'm like okay but what street mm, you know near my house and I'm like but where is your house he's like next to my neighbors and I'm like okay so then I walk away whatever so as I walk away I'm like all right he's kind of cute he's kind of like you know mysterious you know <laughs> and so I was like all right so I keep going whatever we became friends he became my friend's friends and that's how we started becoming friends and then we became best friends so then we dated for like probably a month but that was in eighth grade like hello and so i'm like all right so we break up um he started dating other people i started dating other people and then after a while i was like hmm, i really want to be with this dude really bad so then um can i tell you what happened so with his career he has to leave a lot well not a lot but like the time that we got married and the time is now he had to leave a lot so i'm like what why so then he comes out and he's like hey so i have to tell you something so i'm like oh, is he breaking up with me like what the hell like, I spend, what, five years with you and you're in the league? Me? So he's like, I have to give you an ultimatum. And I was like, an ultimatum? Like, who does that? Mean? Who does that? So I was like, okay, what is the ultimatum? And he's like, so it's either you marry me or I'll pay child support. And I looked at him and I was like, bitch, I had a kid with you. Like, okay. And so I'm like, so, about what he asked me this, probably in December of last year. Not that this, not December, because it's going to be a year. What am I talking about? Um, He probably asked me in like January, probably. February? I don't remember. So, he asked me, and I'm like, bitch, you're mine. And so, I'm like, okay, so when are we going to get married? So, he's like... Let's talk to some people, see what we can do, put it together. So I was like, okay. We didn't get married, like, a big wedding. But we got married with um, a lawyer, kind of. Justice of the peace, I guess. And so she was, like, the sweetest. She was like, hey, come in. Obviously, you had to do, like, a little prenup. But you know what? I love this guy. So I'm like, okay, why not? And so he's like let's go let's go get married so as i'm looking for the dress i found the dress i found it i found it and so the next day i go my dumbass decided not to try it out so i'm like i'm gonna look so beautiful and i lied so i lied about the dress because it was too small can you believe that i know and it's probably because he was there when I picked it out. So, you know how it says, bad luck, he's not supposed to see it, he's not supposed to see you before the wedding, and da 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 da. I didn't listen to it. So, now you know, I didn't listen to it. So, I come on, and I'm like, there is four hours before the wedding, and I have no dress. So my sister was like, what? And I was like, yes. Girl, it does not fit. I got my boobs too tight. 
So she's like, oh my God, so we gotta go. So we ran around everywhere trying to find the perfect dress. And mind you, it doesn't have to be a dress that's like over expensive or just like all white. I wanted something white, like beautiful. But look at me. Who is she? So I'm like, okay, let's go find it. So four hours before the wedding, I have to find this dress. So I come out and I'm like crying hysterically, just going, I need a dress. So my cheap self went straight to Old Navy. Yes. Yes. So I went there and I'm like, you know what? We got to get a size bigger because these boobies are not, not, and I tell you, not going to fit in the dress my size. So I'm like, okay, let's go. So I try on the dress there, obviously, because I had to. And I'm like, mm, my boobs look nice. You know what? We have two more hours and I need to go now. So I bought the dress and I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter about how my dress looks. It matters how happy I am. And I'm like, okay. So one of my friends, I mean, one of my sister was supposed to do my makeup and she ran behind me because she had to run with me to go get a dress. So I'm like, okay, love you, bye. So she left to go get dressed and put her makeup on. By the time she was done, and I tell you by the time she was done, I had like 30 minutes to go to my wedding. So <laughs> taking everything in my hand, I didn't get my eyebrows done. Didn't get my makeup done. Didn't get my nails done. So I was like, hello. So I took it in my own hands because my best friend ended up going anyways. So I took it in my own hands and I was like, let me do my eyebrows. Bad decision ever. Wanna know why? Here's why. So I was like, hmm, you know what? Let me do my eyebrows. So worst mistake of your life. Because I was like, ma, do you have an eyebrow razor? She goes, yes, girl, I have the electrical one. I was like, great. It wasn't great. I go and I look at her and I'm like, thank you so much. I go to the bathroom. This much of my eyebrow went missing. This much went missing. And I'm like crying, I'm like, oh my God, I'm ugly. So I had to draw that piece in. My makeup was like, hello girl, what are you doing? But you know what? At the end of the day, I was happy. So I came out and I was like, hey, can you tell that my eyebrow is missing? And I was like, no, you're good, you know, you're good, you're good. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So then I get there. We got, we couldn't even see each other for like 10 minutes, 10 long minutes. And so then we started signing paperwork and, you know, family, like family was there. And I was like, hey. What's going on? They start making fun of my eyebrows. And I'm like, these? Yes, I know these. And so I'm like, I told you that in confidence. Not on my wedding day, guys. So you hear them laughing, joking about it. Hey, remember when she cut off her eyebrows in like the third grade for picture day? <laughs> yeah, that was me. And so I come out and I'm like, why can't you do this to him instead of me? <laughs> so that is how I met my husband and our wedding day and what we're doing now. Basically living our lives. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. Love you guys. Bye.